Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to make a 3D model of pipe with flange in Autodesk Inventor software. This is a model for beginners in Autodesk Inventor. It's a basic 3D model. So let's get started with today's video. Take a new, take a standard part in millimeter. Take a 2D sketch. I will select different plane, the XY plane. It will show here the front plane. Now I will take the line command. Make a line here. Exit. Take the arc command. By default we will take the 3 point arc. So you are not able to uh, locate the line. So for that you will drag it here. and a green point will appear. This is the end point of the line which we have made. So we will start from here. Click here and drag and click at the center. Now exit. Okay. Now make a line 90 degree. This is a random sketch, rough sketch for this profile. We are making this profile. So I will show you. No, this is. We will select this plane, X Y plane. Okay. Now we are making this profile. So for that, now take the dimension command. You can select uh, for shortcut, you can press D for dimensions. Select the line, give a dimension of 150 mm. We need this line and this line of equal length, so take the constraint equal. Select this line and then select this line. Okay, first we'll provide the radius to the arc. So the arc will be of radius 260. Now you can see this line is has become very small. So now take the equal constraint with this line and select this line. But still the sketch is in moving state. For that, take the tangent constraint, select this line, select the arc. Okay. It is constrained till the arc. Now the line is in moving state. When the sketch is in not fully constrained, it will show you here one dimensional need to be constrained. So for that, take tangent constraint once again. Select this arc, select this line. Now the sketch is fully constrained. It has been mentioned here as well. Finish sketch. The sketching part has been finished. Now we will make a plane on this point. So select plane. You have to just click on this or you can click here. Select this point and I need a plane over here. So I will select this line. It will automatically generate the plane. Okay, it will remain here. You can drag it over this surface. Now, select this plane, take a new sketch. Now, we have to make the pipe profile. So, I'll take the dia, two circles. Okay, the circles are concentric, which means they have the same center point. Now take the time, give the dimensions. The outer one will be of dia 290. The inner one will be 210. Exit sketch. Okay. Now we got the dia profile. Now we will take the sweep command. Select this inner profile. 
not this profile or not this hole the inner profile the profile you select will get uh, will change its color into green so select this profile now select it will ask you the path the path will be this sketch select here and give the path as this sketch this, the pipe will be made okay this orientation will be follow path you can say it fixed or you can guide for that we have to make guiding lines so it's a simple sweep command and okay okay now we are going to make I'll exit this end section now we are going to make this flange for that take a 2d sketch select this face it will orient itself take a two point center rectangle give a dimension of 360 tab 360 okay for these holes we'll uh, make a one sketch for all so for holes make a rectangle once again uh, 260 okay and this dimension also 260 okay but uh, this is a reference geometry so select the inner, the inner rectangle okay and right click and click the construction geometry it will turn it into a construction geometry the reference geometry now take the circle command make a circle of dia 50 now I'll make circles as random circles okay now take the equal constraint select this circle select this both are now both of the circles will change its dimension to 50 mm similarly with this circle to this and this and this now all the circles are of dimension 50 this is beneficial as in future if you want to change the dimension or the diameter like at present i have 50 but after some time or for an, any change i need a diameter of 60 so all the circles diameter will change automatically now i'll give it 50 okay now finish sketch mm, do one thing more select this inner circle and click on project geometry it will provide a geometry over here i'll tell you why we are doing so now take the extrude command select this internal profile now you can see if we have not made a uh, geometry here it will get filled and the pipe will get closed from here so for making a flange profile we need a cavity over here so we have made a geometry a projected geometry over here now we will give a length of 50 mm for this take the front view now but i don't need it outside 150 mm my dimension is 150 from here to here so i will flip the direction on flipping the direction it will automatically go into cut so we don't want to cut the pipe so we will select the join and ok flange is being made Similarly, we will make flange over this face, take a new sketch, same procedure will be followed, 
as for previous flange taking here take it as 360 and 360 similarly the inner profile 260 up 260 here you can see the profile is in blue so it is because it's in moving state for that take the project geometry select this internal circle now drag this point to this the sketch is fully constrained change it to construction geometry the inner profile construction ok now we will do one thing uh, finish the sketch now extrude ok now flip the direction downwards so it will go downwards we don't need to cut the we need to join the profile so now ok in this case we have not made holes like this so for that go to open the extrude command click on sketch right click and go to visibility select visibility ok by this the sketch has been visible which we have made now go to hole command we need a simple hole see it we don't want so it will show you the profile over here ok now we need to place it uh, it will select the position so select this position 1 ok and the dia value 50 2 don't uh, select the dimension it is selecting the dimensions so that's uh, zoom it and select these points so this is the profile okay you can see we have selected the through wall profile so we don't need to take the through wall we will take the distance the distance will be of 50 mm by 50 mm it will only cut the flange profile the holes will pass through flange only and ok now you can hide the profile you can just right click and go to visibility this will hide the profile now we need to provide this radius for that go to fill it take the dimension as 25 mm select all the edges one by one select this edge select this edge this and this and ok now all the edges are selected now we need to give a chamfer of 10 mm for fill out a chamfer you just have to sometimes click on the edge left click on the edge this pop up will appear now you can select the chamfer I need to give a chamfer of 10 mm same here and apply ok the profile is almost completed now you can select the part and assign uh, appearance I, you can take any I will take chrome polish it's more shinier or you can take it as aluminium polished ok it's better so you can select this and uh, for the appearance 
select this and hide phone visibility so that's all for today's modeling i hope you like the video if you do so please do like and subscribe cat practice for more such videos thank you